Now on Good Morning El Paso, breaking news this morning, a house fire in Northeast El Paso. We have the very latest from our Round the Clock team live on the scene. Donald the deal and became the Republican Party's presidential nominee. I'm ABC's Stephanie Ramos in Cleveland. Details from the historic night coming up. Plus a vigil overnight for the three officers killed earlier this week as family and friends prepared to say their final goodbyes. Live, where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the borderland. This is ABC 7's Good Morning El Paso. Rise and shine, a very good morning to El Paso, Las Cruces, and Juarez. I'm Stephanie Valle. And I'm Hillary Florin. Good morning, everyone. Weather in just a moment. But first, we begin with breaking news right now. A house in northeast El Paso has gone up in flames early this morning. It happened on the 4,000 block of Tropicana. And that's where we find Good Morning El Paso's Denise Olivas live with the very latest developments. Denise. Good morning, and we just got an update minutes ago from the spokesman for the El Paso Fire Department who tells us that the fire actually spread to 80% of the home. Originally, it was thought that it was only 50% of the home, but we've just learned that it damaged much more of the home than previously thought. A damage is estimated at $90,000. That home was vacant. Nobody was living inside, but we've also learned that there was minor damage to the home next door, heat and water damage as fire crews tried to save it. If you can give you a closer look right now, you can see the damaged roof of that vacant home where the flames were shooting out of. And we do have some dramatic video that was given to us by a neighbor who captured the flames as they destroyed the roof of the home and even part of the garage as well. Uh, we do know that the video actually was shot by a neighbor, Roger Turner. Again, the home next door of, of the vacant home was also evacuated for precautionary measures. No, We know one person was injured, a 70-year-old woman, uh, for minor injuries, but she was not transported to the hospital. We also know that there was a minor injury to another firefighter. Uh, we spoke to a resident, a, a woman and her mother-in-law who lived next door to this to the fire to the home that caught fire and she tells us how exactly things happened this morning this morning we were woken by uh, the the engines fire engine sirens and we came out I didn't realize that it was this close and I went I woke my mother-in-law and the flames were just way way up I mean we, we came out we asked we were asked to evacuate And the neighbors, several neighbors, were standing outside for a couple of hours. It, is, it, is, it, is, it appears, I should say, that they might have been allowed back in to their home where they're probably staying with another neighbor right now. The cause of the fire, of course, investigators are still trying to figure out as we speak. For now, we are live in Northeast El Paso. Denise Olivas, ABC7. All right, Denise, thank you for the latest updates. And now let's go ahead and get the latest update on our forecast with Nicole Gomez. And she's standing by right now with our first forecast. Hi, Nicole. Good morning, Hillary and Stephanie. Currently seeing dry conditions here in El Paso and Las Cruces, but we did see some showers move through uh, overnight. And the past 24 hours, we have seen some rain out in Silver City, TRC, but unfortunately, very dry here in El Paso and Las Cruces. But we do have a chance for scattered showers in the forecast throughout the afternoon. So I'm going to keep showers in the forecast uh, at least for the next few days. But coming up, at 607 with your weather on the sevens. We'll take a look at your ABC7 weather net sites and your planner for El Paso. We'll also get you out the door with those current temperatures. That's coming up. All right, Nicole, thank you. And at 603 now, tradition broken for a second night at the Republican National Convention. Businessman Donald Trump officially wins his party's nomination and his children take the stage. ABC's Stephanie Ramos has the latest from Cleveland. cast their 36 bound delegates for the next president of the United States, Donald J. Trump. Once this pumped up state by state roll call vote was over, it became official. Trump. Donald Trump, the outsider candidate, is now the legit Republican presidential nominee. It is my honor to be able to throw Donald Trump over the top. In the Trump's four children tonight, appearing with, with the New York delegation during the roll call delegates. vote that formally awarded him the nomination. Congratulations, Dad! We love you! Yeah. Trump's nomination came as his campaign looked to rebound from a turbulent first day of floor shouting matches and accusations that Melania Trump had plagiarized First Lady Michelle Obama's 2008 convention speech. Please excuse me if I'm a little nervous. In her first address at any political event this campaign cycle, Tiffany Trump, Trump's only daughter with second wife Marla Maples, took the stage. Donald Trump has never done anything halfway least of all as a parent. And Donald Trump Jr. making the case for his father and attacking Hillary Clinton's involvement in Benghazi. 
It was a tragedy and one that were, would be repeated were she to win the election. He wasn't alone. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie going after Clinton on the Iran deal, Russia, yes. and her emails. Oh, believe me, we're not done yet. The indictment is hardly complete. Hillary Clinton took to Twitter with a little word play soon after tweeting, If you think Chris Christie can lecture anyone on ethics, we have a bridge to sell you. Stephanie Ramos, ABC News, Cleveland. And you can watch the GOP convention speakers this week in a live feed on KVIA.com. It's on our Election Center page. You can also look for live coverage on the air continuing tonight at 8 o'clock. And coming up in just a bit later on Good Morning El Paso, we have an exclusive ABC News look behind the scenes in Cleveland. All right, thanks, Stefan. New Mexico Governor Susana Martinez is in Cleveland for that convention. She has refused to endorse Trump, though, after he criticized her during a campaign stop in Albuquerque. Still, she was on the floor as she introduced a young delegate who announced New Mexico's tally during the roll call. We are proud to cast New Mexico's 24 votes to the next president of the United States, Donald J. Trump. Some prominent Republicans have stayed away from the convention, but Martinez has been a visible presence. The first funeral will be held Friday for three of the Baton Rouge, Louisiana officers killed in an ambush by a gunman Sunday morning. Last night, the community came together for a rally to support law enforcement officers and also to the slain men. Faith and community leaders, black and white, also gathered at a Baton Rouge church Tuesday to discuss ways to improve police relations with black residents. And now at 6.07, let's talk weather and traffic. And Nicole is standing by with a look at our forecast. Hi, Nicole. Good morning. Here's a look at your planner for El Paso. We're off to a very nice start, 7 o'clock, 77 degrees. By 11 o'clock, a little warmer at 89 degrees. But let's get you out the door this morning, Las Cruces. You're currently sitting at 74 with calm winds in the forecast, a little humid. 51% is your relative humidity. 76 is the current temperature Las Cruces or El Paso, excuse me. We do have a few clouds in place and light winds currently. Our ABT7 weather net site showing very comfortable temperatures in East El Paso. Montwood, you're at 76 if you do live in that location. And a little further east, Fabens, 71 is currently where you're sitting. Las Cruces around 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock, excuse me, 75. And temperatures will be sitting in the 80s by the uh, 9 o'clock hour. Scattered showers is what you can expect this afternoon. Temperatures will be a little warm, but We'll talk about the rain chances with the latest future track computer model coming up in your full forecast. Mauricio. Hey Nicole, good morning. No traffic issues right now as we take a look at our ABC7 traffic flows. You can see traffic is flowing well both in East El Paso and West El Paso as you take a look at our current speeds over there. Let's give you a look now to Las Cruces. Good morning to 63 miles per hour I-10 West, 67 if you're heading east towards El Paso. I can also tell you that Highway 70 is open east of Las Cruces. Let's give you a live look outside now with our ABC7 text dot cameras to East El Paso. That's I-10 at Yard, but we're starting to see traffic pick up a little bit on the left side of your screen, which is I-10 West. But again, no major issues or delays going on right now. All, All right. right. Thanks so much. We have much more to come right here on Good Morning El Paso today. Police are searching for suspects in a vandalism case after they say a local splash pad park was damaged just weeks after opening. This is ABC7, where news comes first. You're watching ABC7's Good Morning El Paso with Hillary Florin. Stephanie Valle and live reports from Denise Olivas.